Hey, happy Friday. Welcome back to the Friday Funnies. You know, today is the 8th day of July, and my wish for all of you is that you have the same number of fingers today that you had on July 3rd. You know, on this day in 1947, aliens first landed in Roswell, New Mexico, and then they morphed into human shapes and mixed in with the crowd, and today, three of the original aliens and two of their offspring have seats in Congress. You can pretty much guess who they are. We're now in the heart of barbecue season when we cook our meals outside on a gas grill with flavorizer bars, just like the cavemen did. The beauty of the outdoor grill is that you can cook anything on it. Yesterday I made barbecued oatmeal and it was good, but it was difficult getting the oats on the skewer. This week was all about us Americans, so as an equal opportunity, today's Friday Funnies presents News from around the world. In Chile, there's a company called Consortia Industrial de Alimentos. I don't know what they make, maybe it's Mentos, I don't know, but what I do know is that their accounting department made a big mistake. They recently issued a check to one employee that was 300 times his normal salary. The employee, employee normally earned 450 pesos, but was given a check for 150,000 pesos. Now what would you do if this happened to you? I know, that's exactly what he did. The employee cashed the check and skipped town and was last seen heading to Las Vegas. A hacker named China Dan is holding Shanghai China hostage. He claims to have stolen over one billion citizen records, containing like the citizens' full names, their addresses, their government ID numbers, their birthdays, and he said China Dan said he's willing to give the info back to where he got it for a ransom of 10 bitcoins. Now, I would think Shanghai would jump at this offer since bitcoins are dropping in value, but China Dan said that if he didn't receive the ransom in three days, he's going to open one billion Amazon accounts and start ordering stuff. As the terrible war in Ukraine continues, Russian soldiers are drinking far more than they should. Alcohol abuse has become a major concern for Russia, so they decided to do something about it. They contacted a collaborator named Ivan Susko, whose usual line of work is as an MC at weddings and as a Santa Claus impersonator during the holidays. Now, I don't care how Russia spends their money, but I want to know what positive effect Santa Claus could have on an alcoholic. I figure he's going to go from camp to camp, dancing around, going ho, 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 and all the drunks will think they have the DTs and will quit drinking. And that's, you know, Russian logic. It always works. Hey, that's it, my friends, for another week of the Friday Funnies. Please share these with your friends. Check out my podcast, Another Day Above Ground. That will make you laugh, too. Other than that, have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you back here next Friday.